Hello, in this tutorial, we will going to learn how to conduct response spectrum analysis using double IDAP. We'll go ahead and start double IDAP. We'll start a new project. We'll choose a location and I will call this one RSA project. I will save and I will use kilonewton and meter for units. For defining the SDOF, I will use a mass V ton period of 0.8 seconds and a damping of 1.5%. I will include P delta with a theta of 0 0.015 and I will click submit. For the system model, we'll just start with a linear elastic model. I will not specify an ultimate displacement, so I will keep everything as it is and will click submit. So we'll go ahead and define the ground motion. For this example, I will just use a single ground motion. I will browse for this ground motion. I'll go to the location where I have my support files. I will use the El Centro ground motion, scale factor of one, and then I will go ahead and click submit. I will define the analysis type. I will choose response spectrum analysis and click next. For response spectrum analysis, you need to specify the range of the period. So we'll start with a period of zero. We'll go with an increment of 0.02. Then we'll go to the end period of three seconds. For the analysis method, there are two ways to conduct response spectrum analysis. The first one is to vary the mass. So now we have the period con constant or set already. And then the stiffness also is constant and then we vary the mass. The other option is the period is set and the mass is set so we vary the elastic stiffness. For our case which is a linear elastic system it doesn't matter if we vary the mass or the stiffness. However for nonlinear systems this analysis method will make a difference in the results. So please read the manual of double IDAP to know more about the two methods. So we'll go ahead and click submit. We'll run the analysis. I will use the default integration. So now the response spectrum analysis is running. Now that the analysis is done, we can click view results. So here I don't have options. Instead, I get two sets of figures. The first figure is the response spectrum plot. Since we have only one ground motion, so it's already selected. We have different spectrum types to plot from relative displacement to absolute acceleration to relative velocity and force spectrum. So basically all the response history quantities. So if I look, for example, at the absolute acceleration, so this is how it look. I can look, for example, using the data inspector. I can look at, for example, at one second, how much is the absolute acceleration. I can save the plot data if I'm interested only in this figure. Over here, I can look individually at the force deformation response for each ground motion at any period. At higher periods, we are experiencing more deformation, of course, because this is a more flexible system.
you can go ahead and click save results if you want to save all the results so by clicking saving results it has already been saved so now if you go to the location where you saved your project you will now find the new folder called results project rsa so if you go inside again you will see the text file containing the project summary as well as the response spectrum for each ground motion and in this case it's only one ground motion so if i open it you have the first column is the period the rest the remaining columns are for the all other response quantities So now let's do another analysis, but this time let's use multiple ground motions. So we'll go ahead and redefine the ground motions. We'll use multiple records. We'll browse for our ground motion suite. We'll go to the support files. We'll use the LMSR ground motion set. And then click submit. Then I will rerun the analysis with the default integrator. So OK, proceed. So now the analysis is running. So now that the analysis is done, let's go ahead and look at the results. So we'll click view results. So now as we see, it's the same plots as before. But now it's only a single ground motion, the spectrum for single ground motion shown here. If I go to all to see all the response uh, spectra in the same plot, so I'll click on all. So it might take a few seconds to load all the data. So here it is. So now you see all the response spectra for all the ground motions. In the same time, you can see the median 16th and 84th percentile superimposed in the same figure if we go to absolute acceleration spectrum again you can see the data here and as always you can inspect the data from the say the median or the 84th percentile spectrum to check some specific values at specific periods 